Hey, that's hey. I'm Sima at uh, Katana. Welcome to Inside My Kitchen. Welcome back to Katana, ladies and gentlemen. We have a live scout from the East Coast, and we're gonna show you how to do this dish into the Roboto Grill, which burns at a thousand degrees, like I said earlier. And we're gonna put like soy sauce, sake, liver of garlic, fresh ground garlic, and butter at the end. And simplicity will be the touch to the flavorfulness. So I'll show you step by step. So we have, you know, the live scallop. He's like prepping it up over there. But this is like the bottom shell. And we have the top shell right here. And he, what he did over there, he just washed off a little bit of, you know, the scallop because it's a little dirty, you know, the sand and all that. You want to get that off. Once he's done with that, he drained that, watered off, he put it back in the shell because you want to get all those flavors back in the shell with the sake. He's curing it a little bit with salt. Salt always helps with any fish, anything like saltiness. The salt always like, does help a lot. He's cleaning the scallop, the, you know, the outside part. So now we have our whole scalp already cleaned up, cut, ready to use, ready to serve. And we're gonna put it back on the grill, at the water grill. We're gonna make sure it's hot, really hot. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add the sake. Sake is like the cooking sake, it's Japanese. It's like, you know, doing like white wine, but you wanna burn the alcohol to it. This is a nice sake, by the way. There's, you know, usually you do like cooking sake. That's not the case. We want to like show you guys like, a nice way, but you can add a little bit of this. Not too much, it's really expensive. So we put that, we're gonna wait until the alcohol goes off, cooks off. Right after that, we're gonna add the garlic and then a little bit of soy sauce. So you just put the garlic on. It's a slow process, you know, the scallop has to cook a little bit. You don't want to overcook it. You want to have it like medium bread always. You don't, you want to like recook a scallop, then overcook it. So this will be like perfect medium bread. So I just turn the scallops. One side is here, the other one should be here too. And wait until it cooks medium bread. So, so we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and add the soy sauce right now. Just like a little bit, like a teaspoon. And just a little bit of that more for flavorful. If you like less, you like salty, you know, it's up to you. We're just gonna wait until like it simmers down, get the flavor, and make it like taste even better than what it was before. The plate, when you do a live scallop, you usually wanna put it back in the shell, like the, the top part basically. So you can like tell the customers that it's been, you know, that it was live at one point. And you know, people pay a different price for this than regular scallops. So you wanna give them this so they can know, you know, what they're paying for. So put this back over here, as you see, and you put the top part. It's kind of like a little bit, like so it turns. So it looks like it's been covered, but not really, because you wanted the smoke to come out and get all the attraction from all the people looking at it. And I'm gonna put this right here.
Thank you for watching uh, Inside My Kitchen. I will see you at the katana. Thank you. Arigato.